Hello everybody, this is Sean Eyestone, co-producer at Kojima Productions, here with a special PlayStation 4 presentation of Metal Gear Solid V Round Zeroes, the first part of the Metal Gear Solid V experience and prologue to the Phantom Pain. Aside from the main story mission in Ground Zeroes, there are several side missions to choose from known as side ops, one of which we'll be presenting today. This particular mission takes place in the same base as the main story mission, but during the day and with different objectives, so you can see how gameplay can differ drastically even within the same area based on the time of day, weather, and mission objectives. There are two difficulty settings selectable at the start of each mission, but for today's demonstration, we'll go with normal. Alright, so let's get started. nice, but that means better visibility for the enemy. Stick to cover and make sure you aren't spotted. As you can see, you can use your binoculars from the truck bed to mark enemies. This is the target. And we could get off the truck whenever we choose. Uh, but this time we're going to stay on the truck and see if we can spot our target from the truck bed. And we'll continue to mark enemies as we go along, making them visible on screen and in our maps so that we can plan the best possible infiltration route as we sneak into the base. Alright. And that looks like someone who could be our target, so let's get off the truck and see if we can confirm his identity. Okay, so we confirm the enemy's position. Alright, I'm going to take this guy out with my tranquilizer, but note that the target reticule is white as opposed to red, meaning that I'm out of the effective target range of the weapon, so I'll need to aim high and use the notches on the target sight to compensate for the drop of the bullet based on distance. Bullet drop adds more realism to the game, but it does take some getting used to, so beginners may want to get close to targets, or use a high powered lethal weapon to minimize the drop effect until they get the hang of it. Right, and there he is. He looks like the informant we're looking for, but we need to get a little closer so we can confirm his face. There he is. That guy's the target. All right, Miller's confirmed our target, so let's grab him using close quarters combat or CQC. To interrogate him and get the info that we need. Spit it out. You you're here for you know, you're not so tight, huh? I put everything on a tape. I don't have it on me. I needed to stash it. Had eyes on me, and these guys. They don't work for Langley. He's... You know... Forget it. You watch your ass, too. All right. Come on, do it. iDroid information updated. And we should hide him. Otherwise, it'll be a problem if other enemies find him. And the information that he gave us has now been updated in your terminal. So we can look here and see the location. 
And uh, once you have the location, you can place markers on your map. Once marked, you'll be able to check that point from within the game screen. You'll see the icon on the screen here. So let's move ahead. And note that the informant's location has been adjusted for this presentation. In the actual game, he'll be harder to find. So we'll leave that up to the players. Take cover, and use CQC to stealthily take this guy out from behind an obstacle. And one other thing you can do is when enemies are close together, you can use consecutive CQC, which some people may remember from Peace Walker, to take enemies out one after another. Our target, as you can see, a cassette tape made by Sony. We got what we came for. Calling the right, chopper now we're going to call the chopper call and the chopper get picked up. Ideally, you should select a safe zone for calling the chopper, but for the purposes of today's demo, we'll go ahead and call it into a high-risk location. Okay, we were spotted. But notice that when spotted for the first time, the action does slow down a little to give you time to respond. This is called reflex mode. Hardcore players can switch this off in the options. So let's take this sniper rifle and see if we can clear out some enemies from the roof. This is Warm, arriving shortly at LZ. Alright, too many enemies. We gotta get out of here. Um, our chopper is coming, so let's see if we can make a run for it. cool new CQC move you have this time is the ability to steal weapons from enemies and quickly use it against them in one swift move. Like so. And it looks like our chopper is taking fire so let's go and provide some cover. Oh, we are too late. Okay, looks like our chopper is going down. And unfortunately, we lost our chopper, but it's not over yet. In situations like this, there's often more than one way to complete your mission. This allows players to experiment with different strategies, adding more depth and variety to the gameplay. In this particular case, all we need to do is escape from the base with the tape. So let's look for another way out. When out in the open like this, you can uh, go into a prone position, which makes it harder for enemies to target you. You can also roll around to avoid fire. And 
Alright, looks like we have an armored vehicle approaching here, which means trouble. There's no way we can take him out with the equipment that we have, so we'll just have to figure out a way to escape. Now, of course, if we had a stronger weapon, we could destroy it, but right now we'll have to find a different way. So let's make our way to the cliff here while paying attention to the armored vehicle. You can see Snake can evade very quickly, and he can use dash in jumping this time. So we'll stop here, set some C4, and wait for the vehicle to approach. Alright, there we go. Lucky for us, there's an unattended vehicle here. So let's see if we can use it to escape the base. Continue out of the mission area to complete the mission. Be careful here. If the, if the car does take too much damage, it can be destroyed. We'll just have to swerve and make sure we don't get hit. Use various obstacles for cover. We escaped the base. Mission complete. I'm impressed, Snake. Where'd you learn to ramp a car like that? Those were some smooth moves down there. Uh, then again, I'd expect nothing less. In any case, let's get to analyzing the data. Results should be ready by the time we launch. Look forward to it. All right, and that concludes today's presentation. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is planned for release in spring 2014 for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 prior to Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Stay tuned for more details and thanks for watching. Yeah.